So it has come to this. Man, I, I have been waiting for this moment to be able to continue this story. I uh, flew to Chicago a few weeks back. was able to capture the first chapter of the story. So with that being said, I went ahead and got to where we left off. Um, the World on Fire was the, the first chapter was basically surrounded by Johnny Cage. And kind of goes from there. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, just depending on how well the videos do, I'll just upload these as fast as I can. As you can see, it doesn't look like it's too long, but we'll just have to see. Uh, if you want multiple parts each day, just, I guess, destroy that like button. And I will definitely deliver. Alright, guys, let's do this. Johnny Cage, the amulet! Enjoy the new digs, Gramps. Sonia? Johnny... Did we...? Yeah. We got him. Remain here. The Chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. War is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult, bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a Halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. You're beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now. As I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the Secretary pointed out, us older folks are gonna retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF. Together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. The rebels win, those Accords will be history. So just like the first chapter, there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes and then some battles here and there. Maybe some quick time events, I'm not really sure. But I want to say thank you guys so much for all your support on the first two videos so far. What's the expression? It's not worth a dirt on my shoe. Koto Khan has always bargained with you fairly, Kingo. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. 
Upgraded weapons, my intel, and poof. The long outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? You know Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. It's gotta be worth at least 50. I must attack her immediately. End this conflict. As you say, it drains us. Right. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will clear it. Make way for Kotal Khan! Move! The Tarkatans are in position. We await your order. It is given, dearest Tanya. Stopping a carriage is nothing. Killing an emperor... False emperor! ...requires power. Power you have, Melina, and won't use. It pains me to use it, Rain. I need more time. The usurper's excursion came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. Now! Do it! Oh shit, this Baraka's uh, crew, it looks like. Oh shit! Said a mouthful. Oh shit, quick time events. Oh, come on, circle. So it looks like there's gonna be random moments where it's just a quick time event. Oh, that's so sick. Oh yeah, fuck you, Kano. Is <laughs> his, his one good eye? Melina's given me twice that to take you out. I will say that so they. Oh, I, I, I love this map. Hang on, you can throw that woman. Like you can throw that woman over there. Hey <laughs> God, let me just try. I want to get a chance to. Let me let me see his move list real quick because I haven't really seen uh, too much stuff. So easy fatalities. Oh really? It actually has it on there, so you just do them if you're close. Okay, uh, looks like... I just want to try them out. I will say that I, I just got good with, like, Johnny Cage. Oh, I did do the x-ray. I tried. It looks like he's got that staff kick on point.
Yeah, you kind of build up the bar on the, the bottom right there. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you if I don't get beat. That should be good. First time ever playing with him. Almost want to call him Total Con for some reason. I'm getting my ass beat. Oh, it's not good. I've kind of noticed a lot of his moves take a long time to, to kind of get going. If you notice, like, they, they all have that directional stuff. Like, it's like he has to do something else first. Alright, let's come down to the wire, guys. A lot of his moves just take, uh... They just take a long time to kind of get going. I've kind of noticed that about him. Because I was used to playing with Johnny Cage. All right, here we go. Let's get some. I just hate you. You, you can't do fatalities in the story mode because obviously it has to keep going. Oh, what was that I was about to do? There it is, the X-ray, bitch. Oh, that's so sick. All right, it's over. At least we finished it in style, you know. You're not worth the dirt on my shoe. You are the Edenian. Tanya. I'm pleased you remember me, Koata. I will never forget those who freed Melina. She vowed to create a free Edinia, something you refused to do. A united outworld stands strong against its enemies. It will never be united under your rule. Your rebellion is all that prevents it. 